enjoyed a near record day for election day. We had a high temperature of 74 yesterday. We enjoyed a day filled with sunshine, a very mild southwest breeze, just an incredible surge of warmth. We started it at the freezing mark, believe it or not, making it to 74 degrees. That is uh, a 40 degree jump in temperatures. That's just astonishing. And uh, today we'll do something similar, probably not full 40 degrees, but it's definitely going to be in that same ballpark later on. Here's uh, an image from uh, one of our viewers near Preston, Lisa Brainerd. Enjoy that beautiful sun. Of course, the trees have lost their leaves, but uh, yeah, interestingly enough, they have that November look to things, but that September feel. I feel like with weather like this, we should have the leaves just beginning to change color. And here they are already uh, gone from the trees, but a nice uh, bright image from Preston yesterday. Here's a look outside right now, waiting for the brightness. The sun still more than an hour away, but this is live from our Lewis did auto camera from Signal Hill, Northwest Rochester. Very quiet, cool morning, but not nearly as cold as yesterday in most spots. Anyway, Rochester 42, Austin 36. Even that is warmer than at this hour yesterday. The temperature we experienced uh, Decorah 50 It's 47 in Mesa City. Uh, temperatures uh, over the last several hours slowly uh, falling down for the 50s. And now to the 40s, low 40s at this hour on our way to the 70s though later today. 32 was yesterday's low temperature. We managed to reach 74 degrees, a huge jump, even though we were at the seasonal average to start the day. Today we won't have that much of that uh, gusty wind to help uh, warm things as quickly, but we don't have to go that far because we start in the 40s. And even so, we, you know, even though we're starting out uh, and having less of that, uh, the assistance from that wind, we're going to still jump about 30 degrees through the course of the day. Winds are fairly light right now, 8 miles per hour to the southwest, yielding a wind chill, 37. Air pressure is steady. Skies are clear across the area. Future tracks, a satellite radar. All of the active weather remains north of us. Southerly winds uh, continue to draw warmth in ahead of that approaching next storm system. Uh, that will have very little impact on our, our weather, to say the least. That system will bring um, uh, some clouds for a couple of hours and then a slight reduction in temperatures over the next few days. But still staying very warm for this time of the year all the way through the weekend. The next week does look cooler with some shower chances this morning. Butte looking very tranquil, sunny skies, 44. Southwest winds still around 8 miles per hour. From here, we warm from the 40s into the 70s. 72 degrees by 3 o'clock overall. High temperature today around 74, uh, which would tie the record. 74 is today's record high. 50s this evening, and then overnight temperatures barely falling back into the 40s. Here's future track watching that next approaching weather maker. That weak cold front as it moves into the area. Winds out of the southwest, then turn more to the west by tomorrow, uh, but not much cold air. We'll be the 40s tonight, low 70s tomorrow instead of the mid 70s, and very light wind ahead of another area of high pressure that's coming out of the plains. And that will make for a very pleasant Thursday, uh, slightly breezier Friday behind it with gusty south winds and some near 70 degree warmth, and then staying in the 60s with sunshine on Saturday. Next storm system shows up to the west. That rolls in on Sunday, a couple of late day showers Sunday, better chance to rain Monday, and maybe a couple of wet snowflakes mixing in for Tuesday of next week, but not at this point a big deal in that situation. But we are going to see some much cooler weather, more seasonable, if not colder than average weather building in. That's a six to ten day outlook from the Climate Prediction Center. That is for next week, next uh, Tuesday through the following weekend. The, the, the warm air mass we are experiencing now will be on the East Coast by then. 70s though for the next few days, then we drop off to the 50s and 30s next week, so there are some colder days ahead. 49 would be typical for this time of the year. Of course, today way above that by 25 degrees. 74 Rochester, Mesa City 76, Winona 74. Southwest winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Again, that, that would be a tying a record high. Uh, 45, uh, light breeze, mainly clear tonight. 7-day forecast, you have temperatures in the low 70s the next couple of days, dropping to the 60s over the weekend. Breezier by then, light showers by late Sunday, and then Monday into Tuesday, slight change there. We go from 50s to 30s, a little uh, slap of reality there as we uh, start to see November weather return. This is just simply incredible, Ted. Maybe a boost a lot of people need the day after the election. A lot of positivity in our weather right now.